from Custom Cards. Today we'll be talking about custom paint and we get a lot of questions when people come into the showroom of who paints your cars, what kind of paint I should use, and where I should get it done. So what I can't tell you is every step of how to paint a golf car. There's just too many steps. But what I can tell you is who you should use, what kinds of paints you should use, and you can see the results of these two cars. So our first example of custom paint is this precedent right here. Now as you can see on this golf car, the paint is impeccable. What I can't tell you is who paints our golf carts because that's an in-house secret. Now what I can tell you is you can get your golf cart painted at any reputable body shop. Now all you'll have to ask is when they're going to paint your car is what primer and what type of paint they're going to use. Now golf car plastics and automotive style bumpers are made out of a pressed plastic or a polyurethane. Polyurethane is more flexible. Now on your golf car when you do paint it, the golf car will flex as you're driving. If you use the wrong primer and the wrong paint, when a golf car flex, all your paint will break and peel off. That's why it's quite difficult for a do-it-yourselfer to paint their own golf car. What kind of primer you'll have to use, you can discuss that with your body shop or your painter, but usually it's an etching primer, something that'll work well with a plastic or polyurethane. Now this car is a custom painted uh, 2007 Club Car Precedent, and you can see that our painter's done some custom airbrushing work, and he's woven it into some flames. So as you can see, maybe a custom paint job isn't the do-it-yourself project as you thought. You should always use a reputable company or come into custom cars where we have pre-painted bodies in stock. Bring your golf car in, put a new body on it, leave with a custom painted golf car. I'm Dan from Custom Cards and I hope these few tips help you make your decision on your custom paint job.